Okay, what I'm doing here, this is one Swiss chard seed. As you can see, there's two sprouts. So I am going to split them into two plants. I have to do it very delicately. Just crumble away. Now, the bigger they get, the harder it's going to be. Just keep crumbling the soil like that. The more crap there is in it, the harder it's going to be. Well, you just keep giving them the clip and the tumble. This has got a lot of crap in it, this one. They get wrapped around that. When they get their roots, wrapped around each other too. Right, I'm just gonna have to pull some crap off. Now this may hurt guys. Okay. Now it doesn't seem like they want to split. Eventually you get down there and nothing happens, nothing happens. You actually have to grab the two stems and pull them delicately apart. Just like that. Now you got two plants. I'm going to stick this one right back in here. And I'm going to stick the other one in a already prepared bucket over here. Now I grow them in buckets. I bring a lot of these buckets inside for the winter and you can keep them going if you got enough light and heat. And you can even do it in like an insulated trash can with a some compact fluorescence hanging down in it. Even one of them light will give you a little bit of greens before they die out or sometimes you can keep them going put them out in the spring and you'll have the first swiss chard and then it'll go up to stock and you got to kill it what i usually do is plant seeds you get the mature one that's about to die it's spring it's in your your window or something and you just stick more seeds right beside it and as that one dies down the other ones come up um, the other important thing about growing Swiss chard is keeping it away from chickens because they love it no matter how big it is and they will eat that stuff down to a nub and kill your plant within a minute. These chickens have been caught numerous times and that's why they're being tortured with Swiss chard. Okay, the update. This is the plant here that I split. This one's actually kind of sickly. I think it's all the bark in there. It's, I just finally blasted it with the hose yesterday, so it's starting to take off. I, I've, this is the other half. I really mistreated them. Um, and then, oh, wild tomato. Nice. And here's some other ones I split. This was one I split here. This is one seed split into three plants. It's pretty easy. You really can't go wrong because even if you mess up, probably one of the ones will survive and that's what you had anyway, so and you were going to kill them anyway. So, yeah, that's all you need to know. And at the end of the season, here's the same plants right here.